Hey guys, it's Dwight. I'm back. Uh, it was about 30 minutes or so just to let it see what it needed to do, if it needed to move around a little bit, which it did. I can see a lot of paint has moved. You can see it off the sides as well. So just trying something different today. Um, as you probably saw, just sort of making all kinds of squiggly lines through my puddles. Uh, and I hope it stays like this because I, I like the dark in there. Um, it's important for me to have that. I think some of the, the blue has come back in the middle, which I really like as well. I think that's that's important. <clears throat> um, one of the things I'm hoping in this painting is that, again, the cells don't morph too much more. Uh, I made my paints a little bit thinner than one I did earlier today when it was too thick, nothing much happened. So I hope the consistency was, was pretty good. So I think it's kind of cool, it's a little bit different than I thought. At least the blue has shown up in there. I think it, sh it showed it more as it's drying. So most of the edges are dry. I was looking at those a few minutes ago. Um, maybe not this edge as much as around the corner and on the side over there. I'll just kind of bring you in for a close up. I'm hoping these cells dry pretty much as is and don't get too, um, I don't know what the word is. When the paint's too thin, sometimes I get the shading turns more, um, I don't know how to describe it. Like it gets all speckly and it doesn't hold form very well. So you can see a lot, you know, in the black has that going on for it. So I'm hoping that it just dries like it is. Um, one of my last paintings did that and it turned out pretty cool actually. So again, still experimenting um, with color and um, of course black, but um, I, you know, again, if this dries like this, I'm gonna be a happy camper. I think it's really cool. Okay, guys, take care. We'll see you sometime in the near future. Bye-bye.